Today, I like to talk about the stem cell grafting and its advantages. I'm Dr. Nimal Gamage, a cosmetic surgeon practicing in Sri Lanka with experience in the United States. I'm a member of the World Academy of Cosmetic Surgeons. Today, I like to talk about the stem cell grafting to become prettier and younger. What are stem cells? Stem cells are cells which repair our bodies. <clears throat> we have stem cells throughout our body and these stem cells are absolutely required <coughs> to heal. In this picture I show an example of an amphibian found in Mexico. When this amphibian loses a limb, the entire limb, with an injury, it can grow the whole thing back like that the stem cells start to collect at the wound and after that start getting new tissues and later on the entire limb is fully formed you all know about the geckos we find we find geckos in our houses in Sri Lanka and when the gecko loses the tail you know in a few uh, little period of time that gecko can grow the entire tail back and that's also done with the stem cells and now we know we have a large amount of stem cells in our storage fat storage fat is fat which is in the abdomen in the upper and lower back outer inner thighs and underarm these areas the fat collects our excess energy and we store energy for later use and with the evolution we know that when people were older they got less and less food and so they had to find places to store the fat or store the energy as fat so we could they could use it when they're starving and that's how we developed these fat tissues in these areas such as abdomen back in the upper and the lower back underarm and the thighs and this this storage fat contains stem cells large amounts of stem cells because it has to regenerate create new fatty tissue when you get uh, more energy store and what are stem cells now again we know that we are all formed from one cell the fetus actually is formed by one cell we call it the zygote and that's the most potent stem cell we know in the early embryo if you take a cell while it's just developing and separate it that cell can actually develop into an entire organism even in the late embryo the stem cells are very powerful and they are capable of producing a wide variety of cells but when you come to the fat, fat contains stem cells which can become a lot of, lot of the tissues we require to regenerate or repair wear and tear such as bone, cartilage, muscle, fat, collagen, neural tissue and blood vessels. We call them multipotent cells. And when you take fat away now usually we take fat away with liposuction it used to be a very serious operation in the past done under general anesthesia now this is done in a few hours sometimes it can be as short as one or two hours under local anesthesia and I have developed new techniques which are more refined over the years and so we can remove fat even from a patient who has diabetes as long as it's under control patient who has hypertension as long as it's under control and even very old patients or sick patients in case we need fat so it's very safe and this fat contains stem cells and they can be separated from the fat very easily with centrifugation because stem cells have large nuclei and they're heavier and the fat cells have a lot of fat and they float easily so when they centrifuge the stem cells actually separate from the fat and we can 
get a very concentrated stem cells with no cost basically and now we use these stem cell grafts and with these stem cell grafts we can make a person always look younger and prettier especially women age under the eye as we can see this is called tear trough line around the mouth we get this nasolabial folds and then we get these marinate lines and as you age the face comes down and becomes square shaped and this is a stem cell graph done in America <coughs> by one of my colleagues and as you can see the face looks younger and prettier when the skin looks healthier as you put more stem cells the stem cells after a few months will repair your skin and regenerate new skin and the skin looks younger and you can get a skin closer to a baby's skin after a while if you want to improve further we do less treatment to get even color and get further improvements so apart from making people younger and prettier now there are a lot of research done around the world for stem cell grafting for arthritis for example arthritis is cured with stem cell grafts this can be done easily although I'm not performing this in Sri Lanka yet in the future we might perform this to help our patients sometimes they are also injected for patients who are healing after a heart attack because the healing requires stem cells otherwise we have a heart attack and you heal with a scar which is not functional that's why after a heart attack your heart usually can fail and people have a short life similarly some of the neurological diseases such as multiple sclerosis have been improved with the use of stem cells now acne scars are found very common in Sri Lanka lots of people suffer from it and why do you get acne scars usually when you get acne in a teenager or an older patient there are no stem cells therefore the repair happens with scar tissue and that's the normal response to injury in an adult person who doesn't have a lot of stem cells and those are the little pits we see with acne or scars in a baby usually any injury heals very well you know the scars which happen in your child are very small because usually regeneration can happen because we are full of stem cells when you are younger therefore we get very few big scars so when you are treating acne scars we can use these stem cells as a graft and then do lasers and remove the old scars and try to regenerate new skin where you have no skin why do we age? now we know we have stem cells a lot of stem cells in our fatty tissue as I mentioned before in the storage fatty tissue now why didn't the nature provide us with these stem cells in our face so we can look attractive into our old age there's a reason for that the nature does not want a woman to look attractive after she has given babies because then she would attract the opposite sex and and the effects will be wasted because she's not going to be useful for the nature the nature's main purpose is to provide a new species so it's, it's the main purpose is reproduction similarly men after age of 40 or 50 their reproducing power starts waning and therefore the nature starts aging them and this aging happens because we don't have a lot of stem cells in the face we can only look young and pretty only for a short time the women start aging after the age of 30 men usually after the age of 40 of course you are going to age faster if you don't have a good lifestyle if you eat wrong food such as milk meat fish and eggs you don't eat enough raw vegetables and you eat a lot of processed foods with sugar of course you are going to age really fast plus you go in the sun smoke take alcohol and lose sleep and if you are angry and tired all the time then of course you are going to age 
with the stress as well. And similarly, for women, the, when you are younger, they have very beautiful breast and buttocks. As you age, these areas don't look as good. The breasts start drooping and get lax, and the buttocks, you lose the tissues. And as you grow your stem cell storage areas, as you store more and more fat, the older people have more stem cells growing out fat and in fact this fat steals your beauty fat. You may have seen women who have a big muffin top which is the fat on top of the buttocks and they have lost almost all of their buttocks and their pants start dropping. And this happens because of the stealing. The body has provided stem cells in the storage fat so the storage fat starts growing and so it will actually steal the energy which would otherwise go to our beauty fat and so this whole process can be reversed can be improved to a great extent with simple cosmetic surgery which we have designed to remove your storage fat and place it in areas where you don't want to age so you can have your younger body the attractive body younger and prettier face with younger skin at the same time you can slow down and prevent the aging to a great extent and of course your patient, our patients are helped further by improving their lifestyles eating the right food and not going in the sun stop smoking stopping alcohol having a stress-free life and also with antioxidants such as glutathione which is the master antioxidant which prevents aging normally in our tissues now we can give it as an injection and prevent aging even further. We also use four different kinds of antioxidants, melatonin, resveratrol, emicin and glutathione, sometimes with n cysteine to improve the anti-aging process. And we also use B12 injections and sometimes vitamin C as well as raw vegetables. And we use raw vegetables like medicine to improve aging and prevent 95% of your diseases such as heart disease, cancer, strokes, Alzheimer's, arthritis, kidney stones and so on. So we talked about the non-aging fat and we remove them easily with liposuction. Sometimes we just remove the fat and throw it away. But many times, we recommend our patients to consider, seriously consider, anti-aging the areas of their body which are aging because these stem cells are like gold, they are very valuable. There is nothing in the world like your own stem cells to bring you the youth and beauty. And this is an example of an aging face of a woman. This is the tear trough line frown lines, forehead lines, these lines happen because of loss of volume, not because your skin gets lax and that's what the old school thinking, the plastic surgeons in the past used to think if you pull your skin and put it tight everything looks better so you look younger and prettier but actually you get a face like that of an alien, you don't look normal, you look stretched and pulled and you can't even show emotions. Showing emotions is part of a woman's beauty. A woman can't show emotions such as the innocence and shyness, the inquisitiveness. Then part of her beauty is gone. So when we do our stem cell grafts, we do not pull the skin and tight, tighten it. So we have left all your muscles intact. In fact the muscles were better because now we have more blood supply to the face and now we are improving your beauty manifold. Not only the fat provides you the nicer skin, the glow, the younger face. So now you can also show emotions without being restricted such as which happens after plastic surgery like face makes damage cutting. So your eyebrows come down, the jaws happen and the face, face become more of a square rather than the oval 
or the triangular shape which is what you have in your younger one. So here's an old plastic surgeon trying to pull somebody's skin and tighten it. Of course he'll go ahead and do it and do a great damage to this innocent woman who doesn't know any better. Traditional plastic surgery with facelift, cutting surgery, pulls and tightens stuff but never gives you the younger and a more beautiful face. You get a pull look, never a natural look. Looks like you're wearing a mask. You're not able to show emotions. Half of your beauty is cut off of your skin. Now when you cut the skin, you also cut blood vessels and nerves. And now you're aging faster than before. Stem cell grafts on the other hand, we can correct aging of all areas of the face. We can anti-age your forehead, lift your eyebrows, give you this nice temporal fat. So you got your triangle face, give you a nice and full chin, nice and full forehead, nice cheeks without the tear of lines, lifted cheeks, nice lips. A woman is always more prettier with bigger lips. Not so much for men, but for women it's absolutely essential. And so it's very important that you consider the latest and the best techniques when you're trying to look younger and prettier. And don't waste your money and time and your face and in fact when I came to Sri Lanka first the plastic surgeons were so angry they put an article in Sunday Island it was called watch your face now, I must say please watch the plastic surgeons look out for them and don't let them ruin your face because they recommend you the wrong surgeries and give you a disastrous result and you're the only one who will suffer and lose your money. So, stem cell graft is the only and the best option today and forever if you want a younger and prettier face. And then we do laser treatments to enhance these results further. Combination of three lasers can further improve your skin because once you put the stem cell grafts in your face, we can use the lasers to increase the turnover of the skin. First of all, use carbon dioxide resurfacing, the most advanced laser today, to remove the defects on your skin such as wrinkles, acne scars, pigmentations, melasma, aging skin, sun damage. And then we use our own specially formulated creams to provide your skin with the nourishment which is required to make the new cells and put you in a good lifestyle. Sometimes use glutathione injections, B12 injections and the antioxidants we recommended earlier to make your skin look even better, brighter, younger and prettier. So sometimes we get younger women who just wants to look prettier. They are young already, they don't need the youth. So what is the beauty? beauty? Like I mentioned, beauty is all about proportions and symmetry. A symmetrical face, well proportioned face is very beautiful. So you can do this exercise at home. You can divide your face into three. Put a line at your hairline. Put a line across your beginning of the eyebrows here. And a line across the end of your nose. And then a line at the end of your face. If one, two and three these three lines are equal then you have a beautiful face if you are not then we should do few things usually very rarely we recommend anybody to correct their nose unless they have a really disastrous nose from birth because the problems are not in the nose it's around in the nose and lots of the patients who have come to me with uh, asking for nose surgeries, they have been very happy after stem cell grafts and repairing their cheeks or chin or the forehead because now they have the right proportions and the nose looks really pretty. Nose surgeries are the most complicated surgeries in plastic surgery. And they have been disastrous in very rich people, very influential and entertainers have got disastrous results. Michael Jackson actually has his nose dropped. Recently, little Kim had a nose surgery, and this has spent millions of dollars. 
and end up ended up ruining their lives because because of no surgery. So best thing to consider before you do a no surgery is come to a cosmetic surgeon like me and let me take a look at your face and see what I can do. We can do wonders with stem cell grafts. Then the next exercise I want you to do is check your nose, the breadth of the nose, breadth of the eyes, and then the breadth of the rest of the face. Now if these five portions, one, two, three, four, five, are equal, then again you have a pretty face. Then again, there are other measurements we do and other things we look at to obtain a prettier face and we can always do all of these things with simple stem cell graphs which are the longest lasting rejuvenations combined with all the other treatments we mentioned before. Here's a beautiful face. A beautiful woman has a full forehead which is full of fat, raised eyebrows, eyebrows should be raised a few millimeters at this line not right at the middle but towards the end and then should curl down a little bit you should have full forehead I'm sorry full cheeks going into your temporal area sometimes as we age this area goes down and you don't look pretty you need to fill this area with fat with no nasolabial folds no marinated lines and no lines on your face is always prettier and you don't want any fat over here if you have no fat at all because this fat comes with age your jowl fat, lower face fat should be removed and you can remove that with a simple lip suction. And you should have a full chin and women should have a smaller chin with a pointed chin whereas men has a broader chin. So beauty for a woman is different from beauty from a man. And of course you should have good hair. Now if you're losing hair, again you probably have a very bad lifestyle, you're probably drinking a lot of milk, eating a lot of ice cream, eating chicken and meat and eating a lot of sugar and so you have upset your entire metabolism you have a lot of estrogens and androgens so you lose your hair you need your hair back you can come and see me i have very good lotion which will grow your hair back in a few months and then i'll put you on the right lifestyle and the right food so you can maintain that results as long as you want so when you do a facelift you don't get your prettier younger face you get a different look sometimes you end up with severe complications and you are scarred for life. We never get these kind of scars ever with fat grafts and I have performed already over 3500 fat grafts on the face and I have never ever got anything like this. So this is very common with cutting surgeries. When you cut of course you are cutting your nerves, blood vessels and you are damaging. So you age faster. People who do facelifts get a little pulled look, not a younger look not a pretty look, just a pull look for a few years and with the damage they have done now their faces are aging faster and you end up looking uglier and older invariably you have to go for more cutting, more pulling if you are going that way you are looking and asking for more disaster so come for stem cell grafts if you are looking to get younger and prettier with confidence because your own genetic code provided by you, the wisdom of the nature cannot be beaten with the knife of a plastic surgeon. Then we hear about these thread lifts and vector lifts. These are all stupid techniques which pull your skin with artificial threads, damaging your nerves, blood vessels and everything else in the face. You get a very temporary result and of course sometimes with disastrous results as well. They don't last, don't even think about it. Anytime you cut your skin you are cutting into tissues so you are damaging everything around it and as adults especially the adults with no stem cells you always get a scar your normal blood vessels, nerves, fat everything gets destroyed so obviously you are going to age faster so don't even think about it advantage of stem cell fat grafts cannot be underestimated now we do it in a very small time sometimes there are women who are very wealthy and they don't want other people know they are getting younger so we do a small one hour fat graph and take out little bits of scar, little bits of aging little at a time and they become younger without other people around you noticing it or if you are a person who are frugal wants to get a good result faster 
Go for the full fight graphs. Do the entire face, forehead included, cheeks, chin, lips, and everything in one shot. Or you can go for something in between. You can do either forehead or the mid face or the lower face or little areas. Mini fat graft is done with minimum swelling. It is a little fat graft done by one of my colleagues. It is not my work. And you can recover in three or three or four days with a mini fat graft. And there's a huge cost benefit. We know of people who go for fillers. To get the same results with a filler, you do a stem cell fat graft. Entire face might cost you about one and a half lakhs. But to do that with fillers, It'll cost you like 13 lakhs, 14 lakhs easily because you can never get fillers cheap, cheaper than your own fat. Plus fillers don't have your genetic information. Fillers are not going to re rejuvenate your face, it's going to damage your face. It's going to create scars. It's going to damage and cut the blood circulation to normal tissues. So you end up looking weird, abnormal. Sometimes you're not getting the normal color with fillers because fillers are not normal. Only your fat will give you the normal bright color of your face. So again, fillers are found everywhere. There are companies who are making billions of dollars selling fillers. So they will try to promote it. Corporations around the world, as you know, and give you the entirely wrong advice because their only interest is their bottom line, not your health benefit not your beauty and fillers are temporary only last a few months and that few months you might get a little improvement but nothing like your fat or stem cell graft and you're never going to get a long term improvement and you're never going to go away without any damage you're always damaged with fillers one way or the other and fillers sometimes cause permanent lumps which have been removed with surgery here's a patient who got very ugly lips due to hardening of the fillers which has to be removed these are the pieces which I got removed this is done by one of my friends a cosmetic surgeon in our academy and so these are very commonly seen I have seen this even in Sri Lanka and he is a very beautiful model who went in the wrong path she had a lot of money she spent millions of dollars and became very ugly and weird because she did a facelift and used fillers both are wrong techniques. Here's another beautiful girl and who put fillers in her lips. The lips look like balloons, like sausages. Very ugly to look at. And I'm sure she was much prettier before she went with fillers. So fillers is a no-no for anybody who has wisdom. Again, the same uh, thing I showed before. And I showed this before as well. This is the stem cell graft, and this you can never get with a facelift. Here's one of my work, and this patient wants to look want to look younger, so I gave her stem cell grafts in stages. And after stem cell graft, she actually looked thinner on the face, because her face has dropped here and has become a squarish. And you can look at the nose; the nose looks bigger here. Of course, I haven't done anything to her nose. Her nose looks right in place, looks cuter and smaller because I have enhanced her cheeks, enhanced her lips, the chin, and everything looks beautiful now. And she's very happy. Again, the way you age, I showed this before. And it's okay, okay for men to go for stem cell grafts. Not only women who has to look good, of course women admire and appreciate beauty more than a man and we know uh, men look at the beauty of the woman more than a woman woman is looking for usually this the steadiness of a man as a provider for her and a steady partner who doesn't look so good is okay for a woman as long as the man can provide her with the things she needs and the man is faithful in fact she might be scared if the man looks good that he might go after the women <laughs> but still I know men want to look good and if they come we can make that happen because they look old as they age with the same problems they lose fat from the cheeks they get this nasal labial fault which can be fixed 
they get the marionette lights and they lose their chin as well they also lose their forehead and the eyebrows so it's similar but of course their beauty is different so it's done in a different way this is not my work I'm just showing this as an example here's a woman who has got stem cell grafts and now she looks much better and the sunkenness of her face is going away of course you look tired you look angry even when you're not when you're aged so once you do a fat graph you look happier you don't look angry and tired like before and here's a disastrous result of a viral fever sometimes with viral fevers you lose fat sometimes it happens with other diseases as well sometimes with diabetes and you can fill this up with your own stem cells get a very natural result and her entire face has been improved with stem cell graft here and this beautiful face I showed you before and this is Kenny Rogers and he was quite a handsome person he went with the wrong techniques did facelifts he did a brephroplasty he also did brow lift and see what happened he's very unhappy now he wishes that he didn't spend all the millions on wrong plastic surgeons if he came to me I could have made him just look just like that with stem cell grafts and he would have spent fraction just a fraction of what he spent on plastic settings and I showed this disastrous results before so watch your face when you go to see plastic surgeons who practice wrong techniques and who refuse to learn the new techniques not only that they like to damage the good cosmetic surgeons like me who are doing the right technique and I showed you this sausage shaped bad lips before and this is my work, beautiful younger face, obtained with stem cell graft. Here's another work of mine. This young lady came to me. She had jowls, chin fat. She didn't have a chin. She had no lips. And she had a large appearing nose. And I gave her right proportions, beautiful lips, beautiful chin, beautiful cheeks, lifted eyebrows. And it's all done with stem cell graft. And she has a lasting good resource with my technique. I'm going to end this lecture today from this presentation, this last picture.